Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures if you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, What? Whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, questions about anything we're speaking about here today. Or if you just have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please head to my website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. We've got news stories, blog posts, videos, as well as all the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business, enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business, help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, and make a little money at the same time. Make a lot of money. Some folks are making a substantial amount of money. You can make as much or as little as you like, work out of your home, and also do good in the world. Help spread the word about how important good nutrition can be and provide Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Nightly Essence, Fucoid Z, all the fine longevity products to your friends, your neighbors, your loved ones. If you've noticed benefits from the longevity products and now you want to help spread the word, please join the Brightside Ben team. You can start a business for a one-time $25 fee, even if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price. For a one-time $25 fee, you can join the Brightside Ben team. Call 866-735-2470 for more information, or you can sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com if you're interested in having beautiful, healthy, glowing skin. And that's really what beautiful skin is about. It's about glowing. It's about health to the skin. And the only way you're going to get healthy skin is by driving topical nutrition into the skin. I learned this as a wound healing compounding pharmacist. My Truth Treatment products are based on everything I learned as a wound healing pharmacist, creating topical products for people who had burns and eczema and psoriasis and acne and various skin traumas. Truth treatment products are made with high doses of nutrients, and that's what you need for your skin. If you're going to have beautiful skin, it's got to be healthy, and if it's going to be healthy, it's got to be nutriated. The body will pull nutrients away from the skin into the central part of the body under conditions of nutritional deficiency. Most of us are going to be nutritionally deficient, and it can't help but show up on the skin as the body reroutes nutrients away from the dermis, away from the the skin, into the heart, and into the more, uh, more important 
to the body areas, of course, uh, the heart is more important than the skin to the body. That's why topical nutrition can be so helpful. Topical vitamin C, topical vitamin A. If you're looking for topical nutrients, look no further than truthtreatments.com. Our topical, our truth retinol 5% gel is topical vitamin A and topical vitamin C. And our truth serum, truth balm, and truth omega-6 healing cream are all made with generous amounts of premium fat-soluble vitamin C. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, silicon, oil, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. They're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. Continuing on with our discussion about the electrolytes, the electrical water-soluble minerals that play such an important role in the health of the body and the health of all the cells of the body, specifically for our purposes here in the health of the heart, the heart cell, that is, the cardiocyte. The beat of the heart is dependent on electrolytes. The beat of the heart is one of the most amazing phenomena in all of biology. How an organ that's made up of billions of cells can somehow transform the electrical energy flowing in and out of these billions of cells, each of these billions of cells, into an organized rhythmic pumping action comprised of contractions and relaxations that's so efficient and so orderly that for the most part we don't even notice it. Our heart beats billions and billions and billions of times in a lifetime and we don't even notice it. That's how efficient it is. That's how perfect the system is. Of course, with arrhythmias, with heart disease, with valve issues, we do notice it. But for the most part, we don't even pay attention to our heartbeat. Yet on a daily basis, this action of the heart is so powerful, the heartbeat is so powerful, that every day it creates, it generates enough energy to drive a truck 20 miles. That's in a lifetime, the energy that a heartbeat generates can drive a truck to the moon and back. This incredible pumping action of the heart. I mean, it's just mind-blowing when you think about it. But it all begins with a single cell. And this single cell can be observed in the embryo as early as four weeks after conception. The beat of the heart begins with a single cell, and then it gets spread out through a clump of cells, a clump of heart cells called a node. Specifically, it's called the SA node, the sinoatrial node. And this node, which is nothing more than a clump of maybe a few million cells or so, it sends out an electrical current that travels in a wave to the rest of the heart. Uh, first place it hits is the upper right section of the heart. It's called the right atrium. And then in response to this flow of electrical energy that starts off with one cell, it expands into this SA node, and then it expands into, into the upper right, hand, right chamber of the heart. It's called the right atrium. And in response to this electrical flow, the right atrium contracts. And this contraction initiates a whole cascade of chemical and physiologic reactions and anatomical changes to the heart structure, and the end result is what we call the heartbeat. Main point is that the whole shebang, this whole thing, is initiated by this tiny little chunk of cells called the SA node, which is known as the heart's natural pacemaker. And the SA node, the heart's natural pacemaker itself, begins its electrical activity when a single SA node cell is activated by the flow of electrolytes. And when this cell, this little single SA node cell, is activated, it changes the structure of its neighboring SA node cell, which then becomes electrically activated, which changes the node of a third SA, or that changes the structure of a third SA node cell, and that becomes activated. The whole thing results in electrical activation of all the cells in the SA node. The electrical flow goes like a cascade until the entire SA node is, is activated. From that point, the right atrium becomes electrified, it contracts, and you get your heartbeat. Not surprisingly, the SA node is pretty darn important, right? It's, it's your natural heart, natural pacemaker. And the SA node, this is so cool, and nobody ever says this, nobody ever tells us this. The SA node is embedded in a mesh of connective tissue. It's the connective tissue that's responsible for the health of the SA node cells. Nobody ever tells us this. And why is this important? Well, as we age and as our body breaks down or as the impact of bad living kicks in, especially smoking cigarettes, by the way, nutritional deficiencies compound the problem, dietary habits, especially lots of sugars, as all of these things kick in, our connective tissue breaks down. And inevitably, because the connective tissue is responsible for the health of the SA node, eventually the SA node and the SA node cells is going to be effective. 
because the entire heartbeat is dependent on a, health, uh, on a healthy SA node, once the connective tissue begins to deteriorate, the heartbeat cannot help but become effective. And this is the source of arrhythmias and valve problems and ultimately heart disease. And nobody tells us this. It's all about the connective tissue and then the SA node. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you. Actually, got a lot of lines open for you at 844-236-6010. If you've tried to call in in the past and gotten a busy signal, 844-236-6010 is our number. And we do have lines open for you. If you have questions about electrolytes, cardiovascular health issues you or a loved one may be dealing with, nutritional supplementation, or if you just have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470 for a one-time $25 fee. You can become an associate and a member of the Brightside Ben team. Help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. And if you're an entrepreneur, it's a great way to start a business. Business in a box is what I call it. You don't have to pay for any infrastructure or stores or websites or domains or any of that stuff. Just get your products and go out and spread the word. Call 866-735-2470 if you want more information or head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and sign up right off our websites. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We'll get your calls in our next segment, and we do have lines open for you. We're talking about the heart, the structure of the heart, the heartbeat itself. We said the SA node is the center of the heartbeat. It all starts with one cell, and it's all, it all begins by the flow of electrolytes in and out of the cell in and out of one cell, that electrifies the cell, that changes the electrical, uh, electrical conductivity of a second cell and a third cell and a fourth cell, the SA node kicks in, spreads its electrical energy to the right atrium and boom, a heartbeat happens and this happens billions of times in a lifetime. Every second or two, it happens in a heart. But the whole thing depends on connective tissue, not surprisingly. Connective tissue is called the matrix for a reason. The matrix means the mother, the womb, because everything begins in the matrix. Everything begins in the connective tissue. And the connective tissue, or the deterioration of the connective tissue, is secondary to how we live our lives. Our crappy lifestyle leads to deterioration of the connective tissue, and that happens all over the body. Arth uh, uh, heart disease is arthritis of the heart. Brain disease is arthritis of the brain. It all depends on the connective tissue. When the connective tissue breaks down, inevitably the SA node and all its cells are going to be effective. And that means, because the heartbeat is dependent on the SA node, that means the heartbeat is going to be effective. And that means once the connective tissue begins to deteriorate, the heartbeat is going to be effective. And that means arrhythmias, and that means valve problems, and that means heart disease. In this way, heart disease is connective tissue disease. Heart disease is connective tissue disease. I don't know how many, I don't know how much more clearly I could say this. Heart disease is connective tissue disease. And this is why we have an epidemic of heart disease simultaneous with more heart doctors than ever before in any other country in the history of the planet. Because nobody's addressing the connective tissue. Heart disease is connective tissue disease. And it's no coincidence, by the way, that connective tissue diseases, so-called connective tissue diseases like Marfan syndrome and heart disease go hand in hand. Any doctor who know, understands connective tissue disease knows that it's linked to heart disease. It's obvious now. Why? Because the heart's health depends on its wrapping of connective tissue, including the wrapping of connective tissue around the SA node. I say heart disease is connective tissue disease, and if we want a healthy heart, we would be much better off using strategies for building connective tissue. Glucosamine, for example, vitamin C. This accounts, by the way, for vitamin C's incredible, unbelievable, over-the-top value for dealing with heart disease. Dr. Matthias Rath has been saying this for years, that heart disease is scurvy. He hasn't, he, he hasn't specifically said that heart disease is connective tissue disease. I'm saying it. He, he says it's scurvy, which is connective tissue disease. If we want a healthy heart, we've got to build the connective tissue. 
it's way more important than any of these idiotic and toxic and sometimes deadly medical strategies, including electrical ablations. Yes, when they electrocute the heart, only God knows why a doctor would think electrocution of the heart, killing the heart cells with electricity, is somehow a healthy thing to do. Or chemical ablation with drugs, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, or devices, artificial pacemakers, stents, balloons. All these are supposed to somehow help the heart. The, the artificial pacemaker is supposed to duplicate the action of the SA node. Any case, the generation of the SA node pulse begins with a single cell into which flows electrolytes, most especially sodium and potassium, in and out. It doesn't just flow, it doesn't just flow in, it flows in and out, back and forth. Sodium and potassium and how that happens is incredibly fascinating complex. I'm not going to get into that. But sodium and potassium flow in and out as well as calcium and magnesium in this flow. A back and forth movement of sodium and potassium and calcium and magnesium or would account for the initial activity of a single SA node cell and ultimately the whole pace, natural pacemaker SA node and ultimately the, the right atrium and ultimately the whole heart. All of this is to say that electrolytes play a key role in the health of the heart and it's pumping action. And the more electrolytes we get into our system, the better off we are going to be. And because these electrolytes are water soluble, they got to be inputted into the body throughout the day. The more you go to the bathroom, the more water you're drinking, the more you're going to lose your electrolytes. That's why you want to keep them going throughout the day, especially if you have a heart, uh, heart uh, any heart health issues, heart disease or arrhythmias. You got to put the electrolytes in the body throughout the day in water. That's why the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is so fabulous for everything, really, but especially for the heart. It's a, it's a liquid electrolyte drink. If you guys are in the longevity business, anybody out there listening, we are selling an electrolyte drink. That's what the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is. I mean, it's got all kinds of water-soluble nutrients in there, in it, but... In my opinion, the most important component of the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is the electrolytes in a water-soluble form. It's an electrolyte drink. And anybody who's got a cardiovascular health issue would be very wise to be sipping on their Beyond Tangy Tangerine all day, all day long. And this brings us to the topic of salt which is technically a combination of any two atoms or molecules that have an opposite charge, a positive and negative charge. But for the most part, when doctors or lay people talk about salt, they're referring to sodium chloride, which is a special kind of salt called table salt. So when you hear about low salt this and low salt that and getting too much salt, to a biochemist or to an organic chemist, it, that's not a really good phrase. That's a very vague phrase. But the, what doctors and lay people typically mean is they mean sodium chloride. They mean table salt. So it, they should really say a low, so, a, low, uh, a low table salt diet, or sometimes a low sodium diet, not a low salt diet. Most everyone knows these days, right? Doctors are insistent and patients know that you got to keep your ingestion of table salt down. Table salt, by the way, is 40% sodium and 60% chloride. Everybody knows that if you're concerned about heart disease, you're concerned about hypertension, you got to have a low salt diet. That's been, that's been a, a doctor dogma now for 50 years, maybe even 100 years. The first, it was about 100 years ago, a little over 100 years ago, that it was first noticed that, uh, that you could uh, drop blood pressure by dropping salt. salt intake, table salt intake. So everybody knows now that if you're concerned about heart disease, or even if you don't want to have heart disease, uh, you got to go low salt. But guess what? That might not be true. Check out the book, The Salt Fix, by a pharmacologist and a, and a cardiovascular researcher, a guy named James Nicole Antonio. The book is called The Salt Fix. I've been reading it now for a couple months. Great book. So in the book, Dr. D. Nicole Antonio lays out a pretty compelling case that there is no evidence that the salt, or at least very little evidence, that uh, salt is the cause of hypertension or heart disease, or that a low salt diet is even beneficial. In fact, the opposite is true. According to Dr. D. Nicole Antonio, a low salt diet may actually make your heart worse. We're going to spend time talking about this on our next Bright Side episode. It's a very, very important subject because everybody knows you've got to have low salt if you want to keep your heart healthy. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We'll be back on the Bright Side right after this. Okay, we're back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 
We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages, brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that one up, benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. We've got six plus years of archived information plus a search engine on both pages. You, you can uh, review various subjects or direct your clients or loved ones or friends or family members or yourself to... Uh, specific topics that we may have discussed. We've been talk We've discussed all kinds of stuff on the bright side over the last six years. If you're interested in checking out, uh, checking it out, brightsideben.com or benfuchsarchives.com. You can also get longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off our websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com, or you can sign up. Uh, to join the Brightside Ben team by calling the phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. All right, we've got lines open for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you just want to contribute to the conversation, now's the time to call. We'll get your calls here momentarily. 844-236-6010. If you're on hold, hang on. We'll get to you. Uh, we'll get to you for sure because uh, we don't have a lot of calls. So. Everybody will get, uh, we'll, we'll probably get to everybody today. 844-236-6010 is our number. This was uh, from CNN today. I was going to read this uh, article. This is based on research from uh, the journal Nature Communications, but then I saw it on CNN today. Does sugar cause cancer? That's, uh, that's the headline anyway. Are sugar and cancer, is there a link? Well, heck yes, there's a link. What do you mean? They put a question mark there. Sugar and cancer, is there a link? Question mark. There's no question. Of course there's a link. Cancer is a sugar disease. Cancer cells are sugar feeders. Cancer cells are cells that have been completely suffocated and starved for so long that they have become bacterial cells. Do you know a cancer cell is a bacterial cell? At least, in effect, it's a bacterial cell. It replicates like a bacteria. It, uh, it, 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 had, it does not form organs or structures like bacteria. Bacteria don't form organs and structures. That's one of the hallmark signs of a, of a bacteria. There's two kinds of cells. You've got bacterial cells, and then you have non-bacterial cells. Technically, they call them prokaryote cells and eukaryote cells. You can just think of them as bacterial cells and non-bacterial cells. Those are the two basic kinds of cells. Human cells and animal cells and plant cells and fungal cells and all our cells are non-bacterial cells. Bacterial cells are bacterial cells. A cancer cell is a non-bacterial cell that has switched into becoming or growing and dividing like a bacterial cell. Why is that important? Because bacteria only live for themselves. Bacteria do not form organs and structures because they only care about themselves. A cancer cell is a, ca a cell that has been so starved and so suffocated that it doesn't care about anybody but itself. And it just divides and divides and it divides. It divides immortally. It divides forever, a cancer cell. And cancer cells are exclusively, or not exclusively, but largely sugar feeders. They eat sugar. There is no question about it, despite the question mark at the end of the headline, sugar and cancer, is there a link? I did a talk a couple of weeks ago at the con uh, convention, uh, at a convention called The Truth About Cancer. Some of you guys may have heard of it. Ty Bollinger does it every year. Ty's an awesome guy, and I hope to have him on the radio program. But anyway, he does a convention every, uh, every year, uh, a bunch of speakers I was invited to speak, and we talked about uh, on The Truth About Cancer. It's called The Truth About Cancer. Almost every expert on cancer definitively links sugar to cancer. I talked to people who didn't, I don't want to say cured themselves of cancer, but reversed it. They don't have it anymore. And almost all of them told me they stopped eating sugar. Now, of course, you need a little bit of sugar, but it has to be in the form of vegetables and sometimes fruits but not the way we ingest it. And if you are a sugar, uh, addicted to sugar, and it is addicting, there's lots of ways to wean yourself off of it. First of all, if you're, after you eat a lot of sugar, you want to drink lots and lots of water to dilute your blood sugar. It's a simple fix. If, if you're on a low sugar, you've been told you've got to eliminate the sugar, you're trying to get off of sugar, drink lots of water if you binge. Drink lots of water after you fall off the wagon. Make sure you're eating fiber. Keep uh, uh, grind up flax seeds, and after you eat a bunch of sugar, do a, a, a flaxseed beverage. The flaxseed, ground up flaxseed, will mop up that excess sugar. Grind up some flaxseeds, just add it to water, stir it up, drink it down, 
Put a little cinnamon in there, a little clove. It's delicious. Not only will it be great for your digestive system and great for your bowels, but it'll mop up the sugar. It'll suck up the sugar like a dry sponge sucks up water. Drinking water alone, even without the fiber, will help dilute your blood sugar. And make sure you're using your sweeties. Chromium and vanadium. Make sure you're using niacin, your ultimate niacin from longevity. Make sure you're using all the B vitamins. Make sure you're using your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. And eating more protein is a great way to wean yourself off of sugar. Keep in mind, though, if you're eating a lot of protein but you're not working out, that protein can get turned into sugar. So you've got to be careful with eating a lot of protein, but still. Upping your protein intake is a great way to wean yourself off the sugar. The amino acid glutamine, G-L-U-T-A-M-I-N-E. The body can use glutamine. Cells can use glutamine like sugar. Also, uh, the amino acid taurine, the amino acid arginine, they can also help you with sugar cravings. There's lots of ways to deal with sugar cravings. More fat. Go ketogenic. Ketogenic diet. Low sugar diet. Best diet ever. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. I got one more study, and then we'll get your calls here. This is this is uh, I think appropriate. Electrolyte issues with chronic alcohol use span the social spectrum. Electrolyte disturbances are common occurrences in patient uh, patients with chronic alcohol abuse disorder, regardless of their social circumstances. That's according to the New England Journal of Medicine. If you're drinking a lot of booze, make sure you're getting on the electrolytes. Make sure you're using your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. You know what? Before you go out drinking, if you're going to go out and celebrate on something. Or you're just going to go out drinking, make sure you sip on a bunch of BTT before you go out. Make sure you're using your B-complex before you go out. You know what? I used to carry B-complex around with me when I was going to go out and drink. Just carry a little, a little pill vial with some B-complex in it, B-complex pills in it. The B-complex, electrolytes, vitamin C, these are all critically important for helping the body process alcohol. So is the, um, uh, so is the uh, uh, amino acid-like substance N-acetylcysteine, also selenium. In fact, my blemish repair complex, which contains NAC and contains selenium and contains liver nutrients, is an ideal anti-hangover supplement. If you're getting hangovers or you want to prevent a hangover, use my blemish repair complex. Do it before you go out drinking. Take, uh, take a couple or three blemish repair complex and take a, another couple when you come home. You won't get a hangover. Or if you do, it'll be much less, it'll be diminished. If you go look at uh, hangovers, they have these little hangover powders that you can get at 7-Eleven and various gas stations. They're all the B vitamins. If they're smart, they'll put N-acetylcysteine in there because that's such a powerful liver nutrient or liver supplement. All right, I got a couple more here, but we got some phone calls. Uh, all right, we'll do these on Monday. Uh, let's get to your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. Sylvia in New York. Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning. Pharmacist ben. Sylvia, do we have Sylvia? Yeah, when Sylvia, I, when I was when I was 13 years old, I was drugged by a teacher, probably with rohypnol. And when I was 17, I think I was either drugged the second time or chloroformed by another teacher. Are you when serious? 18, yes, yes. I'm serious. So, when Sylvia, I was can you? Old, I want to hear Sylvia, I want sweetheart. I want, my, Sylvia, stop for a second. Yeah. I want to hear what you have to say, but you got to speak up because I'm having a hard time hearing okay. you. Okay. Okay. I'm so, in a different room near a window. Okay, go. We're going to take a commercial break. Come back and speak really loud because I want to hear what you have to say. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll take a commercial break and come back with you and your phone calls right after this. On the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we've got lots of lines open at 844-236-6010. We're talking to Sylvia in New York. Are you there, Sylvia? Yes, I am. Okay. okay. you got to um, speak up really loud, history. though. I still, gotta, I, I still can't hear you very well. Speak up real okay, loud. My, I, you... Okay, okay. Um, when I was 13 years old, I was drugged by my teacher, and maybe that was rohypnol, but I'm guessing it was rohypnol, but it was some kind of a drug that made me unconscious. And when I was 17, I think I was either drugged a second time or chloroform by another teacher. And when I was 18, yeah, something made me completely have missing time and not know what happened when I walked into that teacher's house. And I don't even remember leaving the house or how I got back, how I left that night. So something is going on that, you know, I have been exposed to things like these kinds of drugs. Okay. And when I was 18, I was hit on my head by a person I was dating, and that blow to my head made me see stars. 
then that same person hit me on my head a second time and I went unconscious for hours. Then when I was 47, I fell down on the ice and the right side of my forehead was bleeding. And, um, and after that, by the time I'm 48 years old, I was having a lot of twitching and tremors in my right hand. And I all thought right. all those tremors and twitching would go away on the but instead of going away, it just continued. And I thought the twitching and tremors would go away if I stopped drinking coffee. Because I used to drink coffee about two cups of coffee a day. So, but when I stopped drinking coffee for a whole week, the twitching and the tremors were even worse. So I tried fasting, and the fasting made the twitching and the tremors worse. And so I went to different neurologists. One neurologist said if he doesn't know, he thinks it's from anxiety, and he thinks it's, it's definitely not Parkinson's. And that doctor, he said his first name was Vladimir, but he's really from the Soviet Union. Union. I can't pronounce his last name at all. Uh, all right, Sylvia, let me, let me, I'm going to, Sylvia, hang on. Let me see if I can help you, okay? I'm going to ask you a couple questions, and I'm, I'm going to give you some ideas, all right? First of all, how yeah. old are you? Right now, I am 52. Okay. Are you doing any nutritional supplements right now? Um, no. Okay. Are you on any medication? Um, no. And uh, ha do you go get checkups? I mean, does the doctor do you have any diagnosis or anything like that? Do you have, have you been um, diagnosed with anything? I have been seeing neurologists since I was about. Aside from the neuro, aside from the, Sylvia, aside from the neurological issues, do you have any diagnosis? Diabetes or uh, arthritis? I never had diabetes. Or? I never had arthritis. You no said one no. Ever diagnosed me. Nobody ever diagnosed okay. me with arthritis. Right. I have no right. problems like that. So the only issues that you can that you notice are the is the twitching and the neurological stuff, right? Well, it's it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Even when twitching? I'm asleep, the twitching and the tremors are going on. Okay. And Do you have any headaches? I never had headaches in my life. Okay, good. I mean, I, I, I get a sense of what's going on here. First of all, get on some electrolytes and B vitamins really quickly. Anytime you have neurological oh, oh, issues. Oh, yeah, yeah. A neurologist said I was, had no B12 in my body at all. Yeah, it not just B12, blood. though. It's not just B12. Mm -hmm. he, that's, he, the neurologist is, is that's a good neurologist because, well, he, he's on the right track. B12 is definitely important, but all the B complex is important. And I want everybody out there listening, anytime you have a neurological problem, anytime you have twitching issues or, or uh, 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 ticks or Bell's palsy or any kind of palsy issues, B vitamins and electrolytes are the first thing you want to think of for, so for a couple of reasons. So what electrolytes? Just well, let me, let me just finish up here because we're going to run out of time. I want to get you some ideas. So let me just finish up, okay, Sylvia? Okay. The B vitamins and electrolytes are extremely important for a couple of reasons. Number one, the electrolytes are electrical, and twitching is an electrical phenomenon. Number two, uh -huh. the nerves go through, burn through energy faster than any other cells of the body, with perhaps the exception of the heart cells. And the B vitamins are your energy vitamins. So between the B vitamins and the electrolytes, you've got your two major twitching nutrients. And the problem with the B vitamins and the electrolytes is for most people, we're going to be deficient because we urinate them out, unless uh -huh. you're supplementing. Okay, so unless you're going out of your way to get on a B vitamin supplement and an electrolyte supplement, the odds are pretty good you're going to be deficient. Get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine as soon as possible. Right, I'm Start it down. Beyond, beyond, beyond tangy. tangy Tangerine. Go to Brightside. Tangerine. Yeah, go to BrightsideBen.com. You'll see it right there. Okay. Get on it right away. Now, when I say get on it, I mean use small amounts in water and sip on it slowly throughout the day. All right. Now, okay, until you get your beyond, a uh, sip on it slowly throughout the day. Oh, oh more than three times a day. No, throughout the day, not three times oh, okay, a day. Th okay. Throughout the day. Okay? okay. In addition to that, and until you get your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, you can start this. Get a, a Vitamix or some kind of blender that will do vegetable juices and do vegetable juices, raw vegetable juices throughout the day. They're also great sources of electrolytes and the B vitamins. Okay? okay. So that's step number one is your electrical, water-soluble nutrients, the B vitamins and electrolytes. It wouldn't hurt you to throw in some vitamin C, by the way. That, I mean, that's extra not specific. Vitamin C. Okay. Extra vitamin okay. C. All right? And you'll get all this in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, but until, until your BTT comes in, do the veggie juices the vit and uh, some vitamin C. Okay? okay. Now, okay. There's, also, there's also a very important relationship between fats and neurological issues, uh, uh -huh. especially essential fatty acids. Get on the ultimate EFA from Longevity. Go on my well, website. I'm ready, I have to write it down. Ultimate. ultimate EFA. 
E like like Edward. E like Edward. Like, no, E like, like, like essential. E like essential. F like fatty. And A like acid. Essential. Okay. EF, uh, ultimate EFA. Okay. Uh, so you want nine capsules of that a day. I would also be going to the health food store and get 400 milligram or 400 international units of vitamin E every day. Vitamin E helps protect the nerve cells. If the nerve cells are damaged, that can cause twitching and cause neurological problems too. So vitamin E is very protective against the nerve cell, against nerve cell damage. Also coenzyme Q10. So get 400 international units of vitamin E a day. See if you can find something called mixed that's M-I-X-E-D, mixed tocopherols. That's spelled T-O-C-O-P-H-E-R-O-L-S, tocopherols, 400 IU a day. And then I would also be getting some coenzyme Q10, maybe 100 milligrams a day of coenzyme Q10. Uh, look for something called ubiquinol, U-B-I-Q-U-I-N-O-L. Now, a couple other things, these aren't necessarily, these, these don't involve supplements, but these can also be helpful. You want to calm the body down. You want to activate the relaxation nervous system. When your stress nervous system is, kicks in, you're going to be more likely to burn through nutrients and more likely to twitch. So and it sounds like you're already a little bit hyped up there. So what you want to do is you want to slow your body down. There's two, two wonderful ways to slow your body down. One is just to sit on the couch and practice slow deep rhythmic breathing. I call it SDR breathing. Slow, uh -huh. meaning a meaning about four or five seconds in, about seven or eight seconds out. If you, do, if you can do longer durations, that's even better, but at least four or five seconds in, seven or eight seconds out. Slowly, deeply into the bottom of your belly and rhythmically. Make sure you're in a rhythm. So in and out, in and out, almost like you're being hypnotized. That will slow everything down. That will reduce the load on the, on the nervous system, the nutritional load on the nervous system, and it'll reduce your twitching. Uh, you probably notice that you twitch more when you're under stress too so this yeah, will help yeah. this of course this will help calm everything down uh, also another th another wonderful strategy is to just take hot baths especially if you're noticing that you're really uh, hyped up or you're twitching a lot fill up a bathtub sit in the hot bath for 10 or 15 minutes or even take a hot shower if you don't want to deal with a hot bath that can also help calm the body down and then uh, last but most certainly not least get yourself on an exercise program but don't do too much you don't need too much just maybe 10 minutes a day or 15 minutes a day of something aerobic. And make sure when you're done with your exercise program that you're nutriating because you're going to burn up your nutrients after your exercise. Exercise is great, but if you don't replace your nutrients, it can be counterproductive. So when you come home from the gym or come home uh, when you finish your exercise, whatever you decide to do, it could be something like just walking up and down the stairs or, or riding a bicycle or a brisk walk, anything like that. When you come home, make sure you do your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Make sure you're doing your essential. Fat, uh, essential fatty acids and your other nutrients. If you want to uh, do a couple more things, reduce mm -hmm. your food intake and go ketogenic. That means reduce your calories, I should say. Uh, as little calories as you need because calories will also hype up the system. And go ketogenic. The ketogenic diet is a low calorie, high fat, uh, a low calorie, low carb, high fat diet. So keeping your calories down. Eggs are great. Eggs are great. Go crazy on the eggs. Don't overcook them. You know, poach or, or soft boil. And we're out of time. But you know what, Sylvia? You got a lot of Sylvia. Listen to me. You got a lot of stuff going on. Send me an email. Ben at ksco.com. B-E-N at ksco.com and then put your phone number there and I'll call you K for King S for Sam C for Cat O for Oscar dot com I'll give you I'll, uh, and I'll, I'll talk to you personally thanks for your call so we appreciate it man she had a lot of stuff going on there alright that's all the time we have for today I am Pharmacist Ben please check out my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com and all the longevity products at pharmacistben.com brightsideben.com or criticalhealthnews.com have yourselves a wonderful beautiful awesome spectacular day we'll talk to y'all later Bye for now.